Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a quick look at Super Kirby Clash. Uh, this is a free to play game that you can get on the eShop. Um, I believe it's quite similar to, there's a 3DS game which is also free to play which is called Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. I think this is basically just a Switch port of the same game. Uh, I haven't played it yet so we'll see if it actually is or if it's something else. Uh, once I've started it up and had a look. So let's take a look. Okay. Long, long ago, in a faraway realm, there was a beautiful, peaceful land called the Dream Kingdom. One surprising day, Hornhead went on a rampage across the seaside. And so it came to pass that Team Kirby set off on an adventure to restore peace to the kingdom. Hello, Pink Stranger. You must be Kirby. Thank you for stepping up to protect the Dream Kingdom. You're a real hero. What am I talking about, you ask? Hornhead has suddenly gone berserk over in the seaside. We don't know what to do. Can you stop the attack and save our kingdom? Tilt uh, the analog, the left stick up to check the quest board to your left. Your team can set out from there. Now get on your way, and be careful! Okay, this looks very, very similar to uh, the uh, Clash Deluxe game. Some stuff over here I don't seem to be able to interact with yet. I might need to unlock some stuff. The Kirby statue over here. If this, if this works like the other game, this will be how you use Amiibo, by scanning them at this statue here. Uh, let's just start a quest and see how we go. Yeah, that looks cute. Attack with the bottom button. Guard with either L or R. Jump with the right button. So yeah, this looks to be exactly the same game as uh, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. It's just running on the Star Allies engine instead, probably. Or with the Star Allies assets, anyway. Power tablets, yeah, it's exactly the same game. What the power tablets do, you get enough for all the players, and then you get this little mini-game that lets you power up a uh, special move, basically. Which does enormous damage to the boss. There we go. It's called Team Meteor. Hence, the Team Meteor did massive damage thing. Heck yeah. First one was pretty easy. Victory! Yeah, this this game is exactly the same as Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, except it's on a Switch. Which isn't too bad, that's an okay game, but the monetization is pretty bad. So, you leveled up and got stronger. Maximum Vigor increased by 1, Vigor recharged. Uh, that's one of the things that they use to monetize the game. You have to spend Vigor to play, and it recharges over real time, or you can, you know, spend money to make it charge faster. Which is obnoxious. Or our commission's cleared. Yay! I've got some fire fragments, water fragments, and gem apples. Uh, yeah, just like in the 3DS game, gem apples are the, like, f the fake money currency that you can buy in this game, um, which is a little gross. I can get rarity level 3 gear, yay. Yeah, this game is exactly the same.
it just it just looks a bit nicer because it's on a different system. Welcome back! Thank you for defeating Hornhead, but many more enemies continue their rampage throughout our land. We must rely on you, Kirby. There's something else you ought to know. The gem apple tree is matured. That means it's time for the first gem apple harvest. Here, take some. You harvested 10 gem apples. Oh, I almost forgot. The shop owner was looking for you, so be sure to check in with him. Shop? Shoppy? The, the sh sh shop A. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to the shop A owner. Hello. Well, look what we have here. You must be Kirby. I hear you're a newcomer to the Dream Kingdom. My name is Magola. Mag Magalore. I'm the owner of this shoppy. What's the shoppy, you ask? Well, we sell weapons, armor, and support items. Take your time and take a look. Here you can buy weapons. Equipping a weapon makes your attack go up, so that's neat. There are lots to choose from, like swords, hammers, staffs, staves, the plural is staves, and flasks. You can buy a weapon when you're ready to be stronger. Next up, armor. Equipping armor boosts your stamina. We're always getting in new hats and helmets, perfect for keeping your whole body safe. I guess if your whole body is just like a, a head, then a hat or helmet would protect your whole body. And Kirby's are basically just a head with little arms and stuff attached, so... It's also perfectly fine to just choose one you look good in. Third and list is support items. There are various kinds of useful items that will help you out. There are potions that will fill up your power when you use them during a quest. And codexes that once read will grant you their effects permanently. Reading really is fundamental. Fourth is stickers. These are items that you use when playing online. They will help you share your feelings when you're in a quest. There are may, may also be stickers of your favourite characters, so definitely take a look. Last, we have gem apples. These are handy items that can be used for lots of different stuff. Whether it's weapons, armor, support items, or stickers, you'll need gem apples to buy all of them. And that's pretty much it. See? Just chock full of stuff that'll come in handy in your adventure, right? If there's something you're looking for, it never hurts to stop by the shoppy. So, yeah, uh, you can upgrade the weapons for each of the four types of character you have. So you've got, uh, sword peoples, and hammer peoples, and flask peoples, and sta staff peoples. I forget what they're actually called. Um, I, th I think that's Time Mage, uh, and this is Dr. Healmore or something. And you have the ability to heal the other characters and stuff like that. Uh, then you have, I forget what these ones are called, Hammer, Hammer Lord, I think? Something like that. Anyway, yeah, that's the shoppy. And yeah, the gem apples, from the tree, you can get them every 12 hours, but you only get like 10. You're always welcome at my shoppy. Have I unlocked other stuff yet? Yeah, this is the amiibo platform, so if I look at this, it'll ask me to scan an amiibo, and I can just grab any of my amiibos. I'll grab Peach. And I got some light fragments, yay! You get the idea. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, you can see the tree hasn't grown yet. The apples are green, so I can't harvest them. Uh, the adventurer bell, what's that? Search for adventurers to be your teammates. You can also search online by connecting to the internet. Where would you like to search? I guess I'll go online. Sounds like fun. Please wait. So, yeah, so far this is very, very similar to the 3DS game I already mentioned. Uh, I get some fragments, yay! Uh, Sandra, Natsumi, oh these are, these are people I know. Some of these are anyway, I don't know these people. I assume my like real life friends show up in here. Yay! Her commission's cleared. I've got some gem apples. Uh, and this one would be password, yeah. Uh, if you know a password you can enter, you can get a reward from it, but they're like, I think there are real life events or something that give you those. Other games, uh, Star Allies, Extra Epic Yarn, Battle Royale, Blowout Blast, there's a lot of games in the 3DS as you can see. It's interesting that they're advertising uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush for the Wii U in a Switch game. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know. Anyway, there's Team Kirby Clash Locks. The really good ones, I would say, are Planet Robobot and Triple Deluxe. These other ones aren't so great. <laughs> um, I, I haven't played Extra Epic Yarn. It might be okay. Oh, that's all that is. There might be something interesting. Promotional items. Uh, yes. What does this do? Nothing. Awesome. Super fun. Uh, I've also got a profile here. You can see my Kirby. Okay, here are the roles. Yeah, Sword Hero, Hammerlord, Dr. Healmore, and Beam Mage. So, yeah, you have different abilities for each of these. You basically have to use all four of them to get to the top ranks and stuff. Um, you can get different weapons and armor for each of the classes. So you can put Kirby in different poses, it's pretty cute. Sleepy Kirby. Okay, uh, let's do another quest. May as well. Story quest. New quests have appeared. Here are your exploits, a teammate has joined you. Okay, let's try fighting the Colossal Spear Bottle D. Uh, yeah, that looks good. You can see uh, Sandra has shown up as an extra player because I did that online discovery thing, which is handy. Uh, it should make the battle a bit easier since there's three of us. Fossil Spear Bottle D is furious! That usually means they're pretty low on health, so we're probably doing pretty well. Uh, and there's three power tablets now because we have three teammates instead of two. You got all the power tablets, yeah. That was terrible. So yeah, this is this is the same game as Team Kirby Clash Deluxe on the 3DS. Um, I assume they gave it a different name so that it was less suspicious that you couldn't transfer purchases between the two games when they're clearly the same game. Yay, gold! Came close to platinum, I think. Oh, no, it'd be much faster. Not that close. Yay, level 3 reached. You leveled up and got stronger. Maximum vigor increased by 1, vigor recharged. Woo! Welcome back, Kirby. Huh, looks like there are more types of new quests. They're called party quests, and they can be played alone or with other people. Check them out on the quest board. Thanks to Team Kirby's heroics, Party Quest is now open. It's easier to collect fragments and gem apples there than in Story Quest. Okay, so there's separate Vigor meters for the two game modes. That makes sense. Here are your exploits. Your teammate has joined you. Your team is now full. Hooray! Okay, so you can play online. Or you can play locally with multiple switch in, or you can play with one switch in. One switch. Plural of switch in. <laughs> um, let's fight King Do.
Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, actually, I might change myself. Uh, we've got a hammer, we've got a heal, we've got a sword, so I should be something else. I should change myself to beam. Then we have all four. There we go. I also need to start buying the better equipment. Or crafting it, or whatever. Uh... So the Time Mage can actually stop time if you charge up your attack for long enough. So I've used Time Beam there, it wasn't quite enough. It doesn't always stop time, unfortunately. Uh, but when it does, it's real good. Because the actual timer in the top corner there also stops, which is pretty handy. King Do is furious. There we are, stop the clock. So yeah, that actually stops time, it also stops the enemy from moving, which is pretty handy. Yeah! Victory! Didn't actually gain a level that time, but that's okay. Still got lots of missions done. Let's go to the village. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, the way it monetizes is because of gem apples, of course. If you come to the shoppy over here, hey there, did you know weapons and armor you've purchased can be equipped on teammates? Don't forget to equip your teammates too. If you look at the gem apples here, you can see, please wait, that it's gonna charge real money to actually get gem apples at a decent speed, as you can see. And you, you can see also, if you make this purchase, your tree level will go up, which makes you harvest more gem apples. So if you spend, you know, $60 here, uh, on this, uh, this free-to-play game, then, yeah. Pretty, pretty typical, I guess. Uh, so stickers, these all cost gem apples, as you can see. That one I can't get for some reason. Weird. I need to do something else first to unlock it. But I can see it, so I don't know. Weird. Anyway, uh, I want to get some weapons and stuff here. Uh, so you can see, like, the higher level ones are just slightly better. So you want to get all the way down to the ones down here, ideally. Uh, there were also some Planet Robobot inspired ones available in the 3DS game. I don't know if they're available in this one. Um, I'm not seeing anything like Star Allies inspired either, so hopefully that you can still get that sort of stuff, but maybe you can't. That would be a bit disappointing. Anyway, um, yeah, so you can say buy the Magician stuff like this. And no, I, do, I did want to equip it. And the hood to go with it. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for your business, I truly appreciate it. Oops, wrong button. Uh, which button is it? This one. So yeah, I can equip the better staff and the better armor, and that'll make me slightly better at the, play at the game, and therefore easier way to get higher scores when I'm playing, that sort of thing. Pretty straightforward. This looks for a party quest? I haven't actually tried this out. Um, let's see. I guess I'll go single system. Uh, new quests have appeared. Heck yeah, they have. I'm into level 3. Yeah, I can do that. I've got all my teammates here beside me. Yep. Let's go. Set off. Oh, 
Stock bunkers has appeared. Can a time beam? Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, he's furious now. I think he's furious. Yeah. So yeah, you get the idea. It's a fairly simple game, really. And I've already essentially played it, because I played it on the 3DS when it was called Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, because this is the same game. You got all the power tablets. I'm the only one who messed it up. That's sad. Silver rank. Yeah, let's do it much faster to get gold or platinum. I think platinum's the highest. You level up and got stronger. Maximum vigor increased by one. Vigor recharged. Bada bada up. Anyway, I think I think you get the idea. If you want to play a game like this, um, you can play this for free, but it's gonna be like real slow because of the way the um the way the way all the monetization systems work, uh, which is really really obnoxious, obviously. <sighs> but what can you do apart from not spend money because monetization is obnoxious? Because that's, that's what you can do. Don't spend money. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, um, that's Super Kirby Clash, I think it's called. Right? Super Kirby Clash, yeah. But yeah, it's the same game as Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. In fact, if I look at the um, other games thing, which has Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, <laughs> you can see it's clearly the same game. Like, that's the same thing. Exactly. I think even the gear is the same. Like, they didn't come up with different sets of gear or anything. Uh, this area looks a little bit different, but it's basically the same. I recognised immediately what these things did, that sort of thing. Uh, the bell is new because there was a button on the touchscreen to do this in the previous game. There's no touchscreen now, so... well, there is, but... You can't really use it a lot of the time because of the way the Switch works. Um, the Amiibo statue is the same, the shop's the same, it's still run by the same guy. The adventure board here is the same for the quests. The tree's the same, everything, it's the same game. This is, this is Team Kirby Clash Deluxe on the Switch. So, don't spend too much money on it, okay? <laughs> oh gosh. It's alright. It's alright. It could be worse. But it's obnoxiously expensive, so watch out for that. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Bye!